We have sensors for a lot of things, detecting temperature, light, motion, and electrical screw-ups. But what about bending? <gasps> that's crazy! Don't worry, that's why they invented the flex sensor. Not only can you detect a bend, but also figure out how much something is bent. But what in the world are you going to use that for? Well, you could make a sign language translating glove, give your robot whiskers to feel its environment. You could even make your own bend sensor and use it in a doll. But whatever you do, don't make that glitchy Nintendo Power Glove. I love the Power Glove. Hopefully that'll give you some ideas. But before we can play around with this sensor, we must understand our enemy. To learn about this sensor, I went through this SparkFun tutorial and this article from NYU. Here's what I learned. Inside the flex sensor is a bunch of conductive particles. They're closest to each other when the sensor is straight, but this gives them a resistance of about 30,000 ohms. But when you bend it, they spread further away from each other, making it less conductive and increasing the resistance. So it's like a photoresistor, a sensor that changes resistance. So let's use it in the same way as part of a voltage divider. If you've never really known what a voltage divider does, check out this wonderful video tutorial by Afrotech Mod. Now before you plug it into the breadboard, <coughs> know this. Even though the top portion of the sensor can take a bending, the thin part near the pins are easy to break. So place it into the breadboard like this and be gentle with it. Well, not like that. More like securing this base with shrink tubing or clamping it into the frame of your project. Because I'm lazy, I use Legos. Whatever, I've got my setup. Now I'll load up the Arduino sketch from the SparkFun tutorial, open up the serial monitor, and start playing around. Now you need to bend the flex sensor toward the written text to get an accurate reading. But even the reading is still wrong. My sensor is straight, but this isn't zero degrees. Did I buy a broken sensor? Did the spec sheet lie to me? Not really, it is natural for each sensor to vary a little bit. That is why you treat the spec sheet as a standing point to work off of, because your mileage will vary. Repeat after me, your mileage will vary. There is actually a simple fix to this. I'll manually calibrate the code for my specific sensor. For example, when my sensor is straight, I generally get the number uh, 767. So I'll specify that as zero degrees. Here's the most that I can bend it, which gives me about uh, 896. I'll set that as 90 degrees. Now I'm getting consistent results. However, the sketch is misleading. The sensor wasn't really an accurate degree measure. It just measures how much the sensor has been bent. How you use this information depends on your project. For me, I treat it like a counter. Every time the analog in number goes up a certain level, I go up a step on my custom scale. Little bendy, somewhat bendy, large bendy, and I'm being used by an angry gorilla. Now there are more problems that I need to work around. It doesn't immediately bend back into place. And the resistance reading is unstable. Notice how it jumps around and doesn't settle to one number? I'll need to smooth this data, but we'll cover that in another episode. So you see, there were a lot of problems. This just illustrates the difficulty of working with basic hardware sensors. It's hard. It's in the name. In the world of software, you can let your imagination go free. But in the world of hardware, you have to come to terms with the limitations of reality. The world of Arduino isn't like the world of software. You can't just plug and play components. You will plug, test, and then play. That's why I calibrated. That's why I had to figure out how to interpret the data. And you know what? Fixing these problems is half the fun. Nothing is more fulfilling as an Arduino hacker as overcoming the limitations of reality. Next time on Curious Components, the sonic distance sensor hunts down his prey.